talking about the four protective systems that are used in excavation and trenching. Those are benching, sloping, shoring, and shielding. And although they sound similar, there are some really important differences. And I think the most fun way to illustrate it is with something a little bit unconventional. So today we're gonna to be using things you can find in the kitchen to show you all about excavation and trenching. Benching is used to cut the soil away in stable, step-like increments known as benches. Benching is good for both type A and type B soils, but it won't work in type C, since those soils aren't cohesive enough to hold the bench shape. With benching, the bottom vertical can't exceed four feet high for the first bench. After the first one, you can have a maximum of five foot verticals in type A soil, but it needs to stay at a maximum of four feet throughout for type B soils. Sloping cuts the sides of an excavation or trench away at an angle. The height to depth ratio changes based on the type of soil. For example, type A can be 3 quarters to 1, B is 1 to 1, and C is 1 half to 1. The more cohesive the soil, the steeper the slope can be. Next, we have shoring and shielding, which sound similar initially, but actually have some pretty significant differences. Shoring physically supports the face of the trench to prevent the soil from moving. There are two main types, timber and aluminum hydraulic. It's more common today to see aluminum hydraulic shoring. The last type we'll talk about is shielding. Shielding places a shield, also known as a trench box, between the side of the trench and the work area. Unlike shoring, it's not intended to support the trench face. The box allows for people to work safely inside and can be moved as the work progresses. The space between trench boxes and excavations are then backfilled to prevent the box from being moved sideways if a collapse happens to occur. Remember, choose the protective system based on the layout of the site and the type of soil that you have to work with. Next, let's see what this looks like in real life. Benching. Sloping. Shoring. And shielding. Those are the protective systems you need to know.